Hi guys. Oh my gosh, uh, today I, I'm taking advantage of the fact that I have no one in my house today. And I thought what better way to take advantage of my time than to really go through all of my baking supplies. Since Christmas is coming up soon, I want to go through all of my Christmas supplies that I had in the shed and I want to go through all the stuff that I have in here that I have had in here since Halloween and just declutter, go through, organize. And I figured I would take you along with me because I do plan on baking not quite as much as last year because last year I kind of overdid it by making so much and I don't think I am capable of doing that this year but I do want to create some stuff for you guys and I am going to create gift boxes for a few family and friends so I want to show you some things that I got from the Dollar Tree and yeah let's go ahead and get started. From the Dollar Tree a long time ago. I bought these at least three months ago. This is when they first started introducing them to our store and they had an entire end cap full of them and every time I went in there I kept thinking oh man you know like I would like to really have some of those but I kept putting it off and actually I did buy some black ones and I used those to make uh, cake pop stands out of I think that I showed that in one of my videos. I think it was in my son's birthday party. I went back and I bought a bunch of these. I got four of these large square ones. I got six of these small rectangular ones. And then I bought six packages of these little like, uh, like hooks. It comes with six of them, so I got six. So that means that there's 36 hooks all together. And then I also bought these other round hooks. And they're like these little rings. They go inside like this. I haven't taken the packages off. They go inside like this and then they hang like that. And there's powdered sugar all over this stuff because I, I dropped powdered sugar in there. So excuse all the dust. So I bought the small one and I bought the big one. And I think I have an idea of what to do with these. So I'm going to keep these in mind as well. Recently, when I've gone back to look for more, they're out. The only thing that they had left was just the hooks and other little things that you can attach to the, the pegboards. So I don't know if your store is going to carry them. I know with Christmas coming, they were more like bringing in all the Christmas supplies. So maybe they're putting those on a break right now. I'm not really sure, but keep your eye open. I'm pretty sure that they're going to continue stocking that in the shelves. It is the Jot brand, which is the Dollar Tree's brand item. So I can't imagine that they'll continue bringing that stuff in. Just keep an eye out. I plan on putting it on these doors. The only thing is, is that it's hollow. So I cannot put screws in my door. So I have to figure out another way on how I'm going to attach these here. <sighs> Let's go ahead and just die right in and get it done. But first, let's put some tunes on. Sorry, you can't hear these, but... I want to see the sun set Over the ocean feel warm sand Between my toes and have my heart stolen by a beautiful girl, I want to kick back Relax and watch all the clouds skate Beneath the stars and hear the waves 
crash To the beat of her heart There's no one else around but her and me There's nowhere on this earth I'd rather be Singing with me They're like the Dollar Tree version of the command hooks. And so I put one on here. I attached it with a piece of twine ribbon just in each corner and then tied it to the top. I'm gonna to show you guys again, but because I only have five of these little hooks, I'm gonna try and connect two at a time. I don't wanna do too many because I don't know how much weight this can carry. And I know that cookie cutters are not that heavy, so I'm sure it'll hold the weight of the cookie cutters. So we're gonna see how that works. All I did was zip tie the ends together. I'm sure you can glue them together with Gorilla Glue or something if you don't have zip ties, but you will need to let the glue dry completely before you put it up. So I just opted for zip ties because I felt like it would be a lot easier and quicker. Okay, so to keep it from moving too much and to keep it like secure, I'm gonna take some double-sided tape that I also got from the Dollar Tree. This stuff is actually pretty good, pretty durable. Now let's keep going with the other side. And then I'm gonna figure out what to do with the, the rectangular ones. I made sure to wipe down the area that I was gonna hang the hook with. You could use alcohol, but I also just use regular household cleaner. That way the glue strip gets a good hold. And I use these strips to hang decorations for Halloween. I did find these in the hardware section at Dollar Tree, and they came in a pack of three rolls with three different sizes. They're pretty great value, but recently I went to look for some more and they were completely out. If you can't find them in the hardware section, check the crafter square section as well. And if you can't find them there, then maybe they're just not stocking them anymore or maybe they just haven't gotten a new shipment yet. So instead, maybe check Dollar General. You can find some really good crafting supplies there too at a very reasonable cost. I also got this twine from the Dollar Tree as well. Okay, so now all I have left to do is just to add the hooks to them. So I'm just going to be sporadic with it and just add them wherever. So it did fall and it cracked in two places. It cracked right here and right here. So make sure that when you do hang this, if you're doing it like the way I'm doing it, it's not going to hold much weight. You want to put really light items in there. I didn't notice this when I went to go and buy them, but some of these pegs are different sizes. They're a little bit shorter. Some of them are longer, some of them are shorter. Some of them you could hang one and some of them you can hang two. It just depends on how long the hook is. But yeah, I like the way it looks. I'm happy with how that came out. I'm very satisfied. So I'm gonna move away from this and I'm gonna continue doing all the rest of what I have in here so I can make room for some of my pieces. Keep it simple, keep it. I really love this little cubby system. I try to keep it organized, but during the busy seasons, it's really easy to just throw things in there when you're really tired or just in a hurry to clean up. I also like to switch it up with different seasons, like when they come up, like Halloween or Christmas or whatever. I like to keep it well stocked with tools or packaging that I'm going to be using. 
It does tend to fall apart though, so we fix that by gluing the brackets in, and so far so good, we just use Gorilla Glue. And we did that about a couple months ago, and it has yet to fall apart on us. And it even makes it a lot easier to move around. I still want to get some better organizational dividers, but for now this system works. And these Dollar Tree drawers are working just fine. Although I haven't really seen a whole lot of drawers at the Dollar Tree lately. But like I said, you know, with the holiday season coming in right now, maybe they're just not stocking in on these kind of things right now. But eventually things are going to get better. I mean, inflation has a lot to do with it too. Hopefully, uh, when the inflation goes down, we'll see our Dollar Trees stocked up a lot better soon. Too much temper, too much bittersweet. Burning candles on our own. The way if we get to where we're going now, we can always come back home. Sometimes I think you're feeling hopeless. Find that light under the door Build a bridge right to the shore All that could have been talking Would have been once They never done much for help Get on your feet and run I am pretty much done with everything. All I'm gonna do now is just change the labels. They are dry erase, so all I had to do was just wipe them off and relabel everything since I organized it all. All of the buckets had changed, so yeah, that's all I'm doing here. It can take you anyway. Okay, so I suppose this is a good time to show you some things that I found at the Dollar Tree because if you are interested in any of these things, you're going to want to hurry and go and get what you can now because they're going to stop stocking soon with all of their Christmas items. The Dollar Tree truly does have some amazing things and it's a really good place to shop for Christmas. I get most of my packaging stuff here from really awesome gift bags and boxes to tissue paper and some really cute window clings and wall art. When I was checking out, the girl behind me was really impressed with this tissue paper. I told her that she should get it now before they sell out, so she got out of line just to get some for herself. The treat bags this year were none like I've ever seen before, so I grabbed some of those. And I really love these buckets too. They didn't really have very many, but I did find a few that I really liked. And oh my gosh, ribbon galore. I could spend all of my money on ribbon if I could. From thin to thick with a really fair amount on each spool and so many design options to choose from. Plus you can't forget to pick up your bows to go with this ribbon. But I found some really cute stuff that I think I'm gonna use this year. And I started off with these window clings. It's two-sided, so one of them is like more like a sticker, they're flat, and then the other side are more bubbles or monogram looking. But these will look really nice on packages, so that's why I bought these. And then I also bought some tissue paper because I like to line my boxes with tissue paper. And they had different styles, like this one is like snowman, penguin, uh, reindeer, and Santa Claus. And then this other one is like my whole holiday theme, which is the trucks with the Christmas trees. And then the other one is these snowflakes with the red and white background. For a Dollar Tree item, this is rare to find. So like I said, you might wanna go there and get it now because it won't always be there. So I picked up those, I picked up two packages of each just in case, and if I have leftovers, I can use it next year as well. I also got myself some of these basket bags, but I think I have Christmas ones in here already from last year that I didn't use, but those are always good to have on hand whenever you're gonna pack big packages. 
And then I got some treat bags. This one is just like the snowflakes. And this one is a snowman. This one's super cute. I like this one a lot. And then I also got some other window clings. These ones are more like wall art. I really like these too, but these would really work well on DIY projects. But in this case, I think I may use these for my packages. I'm not sure yet, but I picked these up for that reason. And then I also got myself a little sled bucket. And this is a Merry Christmas bucket. And then I got two of these Baking Spirits Bright buckets. And I thought these would be really cute to fill up with treats or cocoa bombs and other treats and stuff like pretzels. I, I'm going to make gift packages for the same people I always do every year. So I picked these up. I thought you might like these. I'm going to put them in this section here because I want to remind myself to use these things. Jeez, I didn't realize how crazy I went last year on everything that I bought. I have so many things. Empty tins, cookie tins. Um, I believe I got these from the Dollar Tree or maybe Dollar General. So check out Dollar General if, you, if you're avidly looking for stuff like this. Check out Dollar General. They have a lot of good stuff. But I have this left over. I, I do like coming here. I actually come here quite often because we have both Dollar Tree and Dollar General in our area up in town. And they have a lot of stuff, especially the coffee cups. I'm thinking I'm gonna go back and get some of these coffee cups because I like to make cocoa bombs. So these would be a really cute gift idea to put the cocoa bomb inside of these cups. It's a done deal. Um, I also really like getting their boxes. I've, you, if you've seen them in here, they have so many to choose from. That's where I got most of my boxes last year. I had so many that I don't even know what to do with them all, but they're super cheap. They're only like a dollar or two dollars a piece. Plus they have a lot of bags that you can't find at the Dollar Tree because they're different sizes and they have different widths and depths to them. They have a lot of good stuff, including the ribbon. And their bows too, like their regular packaging bows. Those ones are really great value. I am tempted to go back and get some more things here even though I don't really need them. And oh my gosh, these big ass boxes, so cute. I think I got these. Yeah, I think these are from the Dollar Tree. And actually I'm really like trying to figure out a way to use these up this year too. I have four of them. They are so cute. I have not seen these this year. But if I do end up using these, I'll hopefully be able to show you how I package these. I have this cookie kit. It's the, the truck. Remember, I don't know if you watched my video last year, but I tried making this cookie kit and it fell apart on me. So we bought another one and never got to it. And we never really eat them, so I just kept them. And I'm going to try and set this up this year. So I have this. I have sprinkles everywhere in here that I got to toss out. I also have this mansion, this gingerbread mansion. My roommate went to Costco and she found this there and so she's like, I got you something. I hope you like it. And so we're going to build this during the Christmas holiday season too. Um, it says that it has, it's the largest pre-built house. So it's already built for you and it has over one pound of icing and candy for you to decorate with. So hopefully we get to show you how we put this together. Okay, these are actual tin containers and you could fit pretzel rods in here this is such a cute gift you could put um cake balls in here or like truffles of some kind like sugar cookie dough truffles oreo truffles whatever you want you could package them really nice in here you can make personalized cookies and put them in here i bought so much stuff i have so much left over so hopefully they'll be able to put these out this year and you guys can see if you find any of these things but i'm just gonna arrange these nicely in here and if I get to them this year I do if not they're gonna go back into storage and I'll use them again next year before I go guys because we are at the end of the video here hold on, I hold, do on, hold on hold on just when I thought that it was the end of the video I was wrong I thought I did a good job I thought that I had it I had it just right and it was gonna work but sadly it did not so last night I was awoken by a startling noise and it ended up being 
that one of my pegboards fell off. So it's because this little hook right here is not strong enough at all. I had this one left over from another time I found it and this one seems to be holding up just fine. And honestly, these ones are even holding up just fine, but I want to avoid that happening again. So I went back to the Dollar Tree and I did a little bit more shopping. I bought these things. I didn't even know that these were available. When I first started seeing these on the shelves, I didn't see these. And I was wondering what those little holes were in the back. They're adhesive rings. So I'm gonna try these and see if this helps better. And I also picked up some of these hooks. They're a little bit bigger. So I know that these are gonna be a lot more durable. So I bought six of them, enough to hopefully attach these. So let's go ahead and fix this up and get it done right so that it stays up for you guys. I want you guys to be able to use this. I want it to be functional. I want it to be honest and truthful. The way that I did it before just did not work. So let's go ahead and try and fix this and hopefully it will work from now on. So I'm just gonna continue doing like what I did last time except for I'm gonna add these little rinks in here. And it comes with these little sticky pads they're kind of like double-sided tape, but they're more like gelish instead of paper. So I'm just going to put one on each end cap and two in the center. And hopefully this will be good enough to hold the weight of my cookie cutters and try this once again. This is so much better. I'm finally in love. Actually, you know what? I want to say that I'm actually kind of glad it didn't work out because I like the way that I did it better this time. And sometimes doing it over makes it so much better. And this is how it looks now. Really happy with it. I hope you guys really like it too. So let's go ahead and take a tour of everything that I did. It feels so nice knowing that everything in here is refreshed. I went through a lot of my buckets and tossed out stuff that I didn't need like old fondant and I condensed my chocolate candy melts. I also moved my cake pans to the first wire shelf and the rest of my baking or novelty pans at the very top shelf. And I put all of those pull out buckets where they're easily accessible. I also switched out some items in my cloth drawers with lighter items because the pans that I had in there were just a little bit too bulky. So now everything is nice and tidy so that I feel motivated to get started for my holiday baking and everything is organized and easily accessible so that I can just get in and get out. All right guys, well that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it if you guys are still here. You guys are amazing. I really, really cannot stress it enough. You guys are so awesome for being here with me today. The only thing that I would like to ask for you guys now is if you guys could please drop down some ideas for me that you would like to see for the holiday season. I'm always doing cookies and I'll probably be posting cookies this season, but I would like to hear what you guys might wanna see in any upcoming videos for the holiday season. And that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much again. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Ready? Okay, yes. quiet on the set. Yes.
All right, quiet on the set. I don't know why when you guys are here, I get nervous and then I can't think straight. <laughs> So I try to stay out there when you record. It's okay. <laughs> I know, you guys are watching it live. Live from Shelly's kitchen. No, live from Shelly's living room. <laughs> or office. 